I believe that worship is integral to the discipleship process. I think that that is true on a number of levels. One is that worship, music, as do any of the creative arts, have this seemingly inherent uh, God-given ability to bypass the mind, bypass in a sense that critical analytical structure that causes us to put up our walls and our defenses and goes right for the heart. It engages the inner attitudes and motives of the heart. It also creates a forum where there has always seemed to me to be this increased receptivity in the heart of a person to receive from the Holy Spirit directly or to even receive from the Holy Spirit via another person speaking into their lives. So there's discipleship that happens uh, simply by the worship uh, leading dynamic that happens in a small group. I would also say that there is a power in worship music that has been borne out through church history. The music of Christian worship has always been uh, a didactic, instructive tool to impart truth into the life of the believer. I sat across a table at one point from a young man who was in prison in our congregation. Uh, his past life and present experience had caught up with him. And as I sat across this table from him in a sterile room, he looked at me in the eye and he said, you know what, Dan? He said, in this place I sit down beside murderers. I sit down beside child molesters, uh, robbers. I sit down beside people that I can't imagine that I'm spending all my time with. And I look for moments when I can meet with God. I look for moments when I can find sanctuary in what is, for me, uh, a place of incredible devastation in my life. And you know, when I can't seem to drink in the power of the Word of God, and I can't seem to meet God through my prayers or in silence, he said to me, I begin to sing this song. And he began to sing back to me a song that I had written a number of years ago. And both of us sitting across that table with our eyes again full of tears, looked at each other and he said to me, there is power in that music. And I realized that that wasn't a rah-rah Dan moment. <laughs> what that was was a rah-rah worship music moment because in his greatest place of despair, he found a sanctuary. He found a garden where he could meet with the Lord and the Holy Spirit could call him forth in his journey as a disciple of Jesus, even in the midst of that broken situation. That's the power of worship in the context of discipleship in a Christian's life.